Yo, hello and welcome to another podcast episode. And today it is all about Intel Extreme Masters 2024 in Katowice, Poland, which happened last weekend and a little bit prior to that as well. And it is all about Counter-Strike 2 and StarCraft 2. So let's roll the intro and see you in a minute. Alrighty, before I start, I want to mention that I got some feedback from last episode and people complained about the long intro, but I'm going to keep it and there are timestamps in the video. So I expect my audience, if they want to skip it, then they are able to do it. And I will keep it that way because in the long run, I also want to do um, yeah some kind of... Uh, I want to want to put some scenes to it and so on, some highlights, and also want to do uh, some voiceover stuff to it. So, um, yeah, this will stay in it. <laughs> so, if you if you don't like it, then just feel free to skip, and it is no big deal. And also, um, on the last episode, I got so far only dislikes on YouTube, and um, you never know how this comes you know i think um as i said earlier this is my approach to understand the esports scene so it is like working out starting to work out during the first um yeah training people laugh about you but when you show up after like i don't know a couple of months with six pack and striations in your shoulders nobody laughs anymore so this is my learning experience and i will take my time and i will keep doing this and I still um, did a change on YouTube. I will do it with video again. So you will see my face basically and how I speak. Yeah, And on Spotify, it will obviously stay with just a sound. So now let's come to the topics. Um, this was an historic event. Yeah, This was an historic tournament. Into Extreme Masters Katowice in Poland 2024. Why was it? so historic because it was a showcase of domination in counter-strike and in starcraft and you have this very rarely yeah when you think about sports um as a fan you usually like clutch moments yeah what comes to mind first i'm a huge nba fan uh, michael john versus the utah jazz nba finals 1998 uh, five seconds on the clock john has the ball they made a stop and he runs up the floor uh, makes a little crossover, a little shove, and yeah, jumper, and the ball goes in. GG, game over, right? So this is absolute clutch performance. Or LeBron versus Golden State Warriors, 2016 NBA Finals as well. Game is basically over. Yeah, uh, it's 89-89. Golden State has the ball. Iguodala comes up, is free. You know, does a fast break goes up for the layup and here comes LeBron and does a block, you know, and from that moment on, uh, yeah, table turned, you know, it's GG. And um, this is all clutch, you know, this is all clutch. And as a fan, this is basically what you like because it keeps you on the edge. 
An example for domination is something else, yeah. And I had to think a little bit, but um, I think the best example, at least from the sports world, that I can come up with is, um, yeah, FIFA World Cup 2014 semifinals, Brazil versus Germany. Um, yeah, sorry for all the Brazilian people who hear this now. Um, Seven one. I mean, if you watched it, if you watched it live, or if you watch it on YouTube now. Um, yeah, this was this was heartbreaking, you know, and at least for the Brazilian fans, and I mean, even as a for the German fans, it felt almost like, uh, yeah, okay, this is way too much, you know, this is beyond uh, enjoyable anymore, you know, this is way too crushing, and yeah, this is this is basically domination, you know, where where a team or a player goes from start to finish you know with 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 a perfect performance basically and we have seen this in in starcraft and in counter-strike so let's start with counter-strike first um team spirit won the whole tournament yeah they um won against navi in the first round was 2-1 then complexity 2-0 face clown 2-0 and then there were the playoffs against Team Falcons, semifinals 2-0, and then the finals against Face Clown again, also 2-0. So this was a perfect performance, and um, yeah, their best player, Donk, who also got the MVP award there, was clearly the best player in the entire tournament. Uh, he he just turned 17 a week before this before this tournament. So he before this tournament, yeah, he was basically 16. Now he's 17, so he's very young, but he did an insane performance and it's not just about how good he played yeah if you play good or whatever yeah it's 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 all right yeah but if if you see on every highlight reel the frustration of his opponents you know shaking their head you know can't understand how they got beaten so so crazy you know that they don't find any answers to this then you know this is this is devastating, you know. This is this is domination. This is like Brazil versus Germany, you know, in the FIFA World Cup. So um, yeah, he also got accused of cheating and all that stuff. But this is offline tournament, so um, I watched it a little bit. The highlights. I'm not really familiar with Counter Strike. Yeah? I'm more in player unknowns battlegrounds. Um, but what I've what I have seen is that he did really well. Yeah, his sprays were really good. Yeah, he did a lot of good sprays, and when you come from PUBG, you appreciate that. You know, like um, because there, I think um, being able to spray is even harder. But uh, yeah, he did he did really well sprays, and he played aggressively, but also not reckless. You know, he was 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 everything looked legit from my eyes. You know, and it was kind of kind of crazy. You know, and you don't have it very often that. Uh, a young player like him goes off like this in the first big tournament he plays and this was the first s tier tournament he played in and yeah they won it from start to finish they dominated and there was there was absolutely nothing the opponents could do absolutely nothing so i'm looking forward to see more from them because if they keep playing like this then it will be really hard for any team to beat them but Usually esports is a momentum game and obviously sooner or later we will see some shifts. But this was an historic event, this was an historic performance and it was probably not that much enjoyable for the fans to watch, you know, if a team just stomps every every competition, you know. But um, in retrospective you, you will appreciate that and I'm pretty sure the highlight reels will be played in many many years from now as well all right then we had um another story from counter-strike and that was um ends i don't know if i pronounce it the correct way um they were the local team basically they were the the inter extreme masters were basically in poland yeah in katowice and they are a polish team so um yeah they were basically the locals and i'm pretty sure a lot of people there in the arena were cheering for this for this team and they um, added Glaive to their team um, like two months before the tournament. And yeah, it kind of worked out. Yeah, they, they beat Team Vitality 2-1 in the in the group phase. And then they also beat G2 Esports with um, like 
which was a huge surprise, like a huge surprise. Unfortunately, after that, they lost against Mars with 0-2-2. And they had to play, um, yeah, after that against Team Falcons in the quarterfinals, I believe. And they lost 1-2-2. So um, they had a chance to get, a, get further, to advance into the semifinals. But the thing here is they would have faced Team Spirit and I doubt that they would have had any chance. So they basically uh, reached the maximum they could accomplish there in this tournament, I think. And I think, um, yeah, they have, if 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 they figure out like um, like the, the synergy and so on, if they work a little bit on that, you know, play a little bit longer together, I think then this might be a team to watch and not just... I don't, I don't just see it that um, they got boosted so much because they played at home. I think the addition seems to work out and um, yeah, in that short amount of time, you can't really uh, expect that everything clicks, you know, that the synergy is there, the team play and all that stuff. So uh, you have to get used to everything, to each other's habits and so on, and then it will be much better in the future. So let's come to... Starcraft and Starcraft is a game uh, I haven't played much myself. Uh, Counter Strike the same. I haven't played both of them, not very often. I'm I'm not an RTS guy. I'm an action RPG guy to some extent, but I'm definitely not an RTS guy. Um, but yeah, as well, this was also the performance of domination. And when I see something like that, I at least acknowledge it and can appreciate that. Even if people think this is boring or whatever, you know, as I said, for a fan's perspective, you don't want to see um, players or yeah, or at least dominate like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's sports or esports. If someone dominates like crazy, it becomes boring very fast. But um, you also have to appreciate greatness when you see it, you know. So in StarCraft... Serral won the entire tournament and the way how he won it is uh is mind-boggling. Yeah, he's a Finnish player and usually StarCraft is yeah, a game that is or was dominated by Koreans for a very long time. Um we have like three different um yeah, how do you call it? Races? I don't know, like three different um factions, I don't know. Um the StarCraft players can tell me, but uh, what I want to say is that there was no Protoss player in the in the in the playoffs. Yeah, I want I want to see more Protoss because I'm a big fan of Protoss. It's always Terran against um, against Zerg, and usually yeah, I see often Zerg winning. So um, yeah, it is what it is. Sarah is also a Zerg player, but I don't want to take anything away from him. I just want to say uh, personally, I want to see more Protoss in the finals. So Protoss players, if you hear that. Step it up, guys. Step it up. So he won the group phase with 5-0. Absolutely crushed it. Absolutely dominated it. Then went into the playoffs. Beat Clem with 3-0. Played against Dark. 3-1. Won it as well. And then in the finals against Maru 4-0. And this is... Yeah. So he basically lost only one round in the in the playoffs and I think also in the entire in the entire tournament, which is absolutely insane if you think about it. And also the way how he won it against Maru, it wasn't just um some sneaky Zerg tactics, you know, rushing to the enemy base or whatever and winning fast or doing doing some sneaky stuff or whatever. It was a huge variety of tactics and strategies. And um, the game two was Absolutely crazy game. Yeah, it was a very long game, late game juggernaut, and with a lot of micro in it as well, with micro of the big armies and so on. And that was that was kind of that was fun to watch. And I think the same thing happened here that happened also before. You know that you could see the opponents shaking their heads in disbelief. You know, and and smiling. And what can you do? You know, you accept reality today you can't beat sarah today you can't beat donk or team spirit this is what happened basically yeah maru shaked his head he was smiling and nothing you can do yeah this is basically 
the reality at that at that day and sometimes sometimes you have to accept that yeah and there's no reason to be to be mad about it and nobody was mad about it it was um they all they all play for a very long time already and they also see when <laughs> when someone simply outplays them and yeah it's it's kind of kind of crazy that this happened in in both games basically simultaneously yeah so i think inter extreme masters katowice will yeah will take a place in history as absolute domination yeah absolute dominant performances of either team spirit in counter strike and serial in starcraft 2 and this is it already yeah i don't have much more to add today um for me this was a complete new one first time i did something about counter strikes first time i did something about starcraft and i don't know anything about these games yet at least this is my feeling but it will grow and i hope you guys stick along yeah so i hope you enjoyed this one and see you guys soon in the next one bye bye